this is another track that I made. I actually made this one in uh, September, 25th of September. So this was maybe the second one that I'd actually uh, tried to do when I first brought FL Studio. It's really short and I haven't done much to it. I just wanted to, to get it out really. It uses a sample and here is a little bit of it. As you can tell, it's carried by the sample. Um, really good sample from Sematics. On the Sematics website, they have a bunch of free um, samples, basically loops, kits, uh, one shots, everything. Um, and when I first got free to loops, I downloaded a lot of them. And this was one of them. The sample that I used in this was one of them, Betrayal. It came out as uh, 100. Betrayals came out uh, at 100 BPM, so I just sped it up a bit at 105. So a really nice piano that plays twice and then uh, I created the drums afterwards. I didn't put any effects on the drums. The thing I like about them is that they sound quite nice without any effects. This was one of the first attempts at Fruity Loop so it's still very raw. These samples are from the Somatics website as well. Uh, I have used Crash, Ride, Kick, Snare, some percussion, Clap and Hi-Hats. Here is the pattern which goes on a four bar loop. So for not having any effects on it, I think it sounds pretty good. I also included some aerial impacts also from Sematics. That is just to build tension in the introduction and then also um, at the bridge. I used all Sematic samples. I've organized them, but they do come in folders. Um, and as you can see, there is a huge variety. Snares, chop snares, rim shots, rim shots, uh, snaps, cymbals, so it's really good for a beginning producer to, to download all of these. To help with atmosphere, below the tension of the uh, aerial impact hits, I added rain and uh, siren sample. So this plays throughout the song and just gives a good bass layer and helps build the atmosphere a little. It's quite subtle um, and throughout the introduction and the bridge, you can hear it more. Um, it just gives a nice backdrop. So everything that I just talked about repeats twice. So here we've got one and then we've got the second one over here. I wanted a bridge section in the middle, um, but keep it very simple. To add some difference to it, because obviously it gets very repetitive, just using a sample in the same drum pattern. I added in a pluck section, so a pluck instrument at the end of the verses, I guess you could call them. So I made everything that I just talked about uh, previously and then when I got Heat Up 3, I went back and added in some things just to finish it off and um, enable myself to make a video about it. In the plucks section, I've used Game Boy, which sounds like this. I've added some effects on it though, which include RC20, reverb and delay. For the RC20 at this point, I was just going, picking a preset and kind of playing with the knobs over here to see if they sounded okay. Also, Experiverb for some atmosphere and then a ping pong delay, make it a bit more dynamic. And then finally, for the instruments, throughout the bridge section, it was a bit bit of a wasteland, bit empty. So I added in another heat up uh, instrument. So in the bell section, I added this glockenspiel. So that quite, sounded quite nice and bright. And on this, I also, I also added some RC20, uh, though a different preset, depth for plucks, and then also reverb and some EQ, just to, I kind of raised up here and then try to find the, the tones and frequencies that I like the sound of and maybe and take out the ones that I didn't. So that's what I did for that. So this is just a very simple. Mm. 
really, 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 really simple. Really, 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 really simple. So that was all of the instruments and then um, I'm also trying my hand at mixing more. So I watched a video on Maximus and then now when I make the tracks and then try to finish them, I add this on at the end to make it sound a bit more professional. I think it makes a difference. Obviously it boosts up the volumes in certain areas, particularly the bass, um, which helps. I think it makes it sound more full, um, makes it sound fuller, makes it sound a bit brighter as well. Um, and yeah, seems to be working a little bit. I'll keep practicing on this though. That was everything for this track. Very, very simple one. Um, but I wanted to be transparent with everything that I'm making. And this was one that I felt was finished. And this is it in its entirety. Mm -hmm.